it, it, it looks like dollar yen is in intervention territory. Uh, if it does come, what form will it take and how effective will it be? Look, I think, um, you know, as you know, intervention in the currency market, you know, is a very, very dangerous game if it's not followed up by concrete policy changes. And quite frankly, of course, the Ministry of Finance right now is concerned with the pickup in volatility. You know, you basically go from 150 to 153. That's something that makes the authorities uncomfortable. But, you know, if it's a gradual continued decline, I actually think that the risk of intervention is actually relatively small. Verbal intervention, yes, but actual action, I think for that you'd need to go into the 160, 165 level. And in terms of what's driving dollar yen, it's really uh, hawkish repricing off the Fed uh, rather than uh, BOJ expectations, is it? Or is it or is that the latter? Because th there is a sense that the Bank of Japan is still very much in the game here and has only taken a very teeny weeny step towards uh, normalization. Look, um, and, 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 you know, I mean, the, the, the forces that got the yen from 100, 110 a couple of years ago to 150, 153, those very forces are still intact. And it is just the interest rate differential. And at the end of the day, you know, so far, the beginning of normalization of interest rates in Japan has not done anything. As you know, the yen has actually weakened since the Bank of Japan moved, you know, a couple of weeks ago here. And, you know, the question really for markets uh, and for strategists like myself, the real question is like, is the Bank of Japan now at risk of being behind the curve? Is it starting to do too little too late? Because you actually do see the inflation momentum, the wage momentum, the asset price momentum here in Japan continuing to grow and the yen continues to weaken. So that does start to set off some alarm bells. The Bank of Japan is behind the curve. But arguably, uh, Jesper, the counterfactual here is that the recent uh, wage increases that you refer to only uh, benefit a uh, minority of uh, unionised, just the unionised workers as opposed to uh, the workers who work for the majority of workers at the SMEs. So isn't, isn't the overall impact uh, and the virtuous cycle going to be uh, minimal in terms of inflation? Plus, uh, from what I understand, the con Japanese consumer is still... Uh, tough sledding. Look, I mean, look, the, the reality is that you've got one in four people living off a pension here, and whether the stock market goes up <clears throat> or whether wages go up doesn't have any impact. Uh, in fact, pensioners are only hurt by the reality of food prices and energy prices going up. So in aggregate, consumer spending is not going to become a big driver of the economy. But the question for the Bank of Japan is do you get that demand pull inflation that is now starting to come in, which continues mm. to be compounded by imported inflation, by bad inflation, because goods prices, food prices, energy prices, all are going up together with service prices going up there. That does start to need a stepping on the brake that becomes a little bit more decisive, particularly if you don't get a response from the rate increases in the currency markets, which is exactly what has happened over the last three weeks.